Oh my, I've been in a coma since December 4th, 2023. The last thing I remember was watching the brand new GTA 6 trailer. Then I saw a bright light and... Here I woke up 11 months later in this hospital. Oh well, at least I'm sure we got a new GTA 6 trailer by now. I'll go ahead and just watch. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm sure we've gotten a screenshot or two. No, we didn't get that either. Okay, well, I mean, maybe they gave us... 50 bucks? Yep, being a GTA fan sure is tough work. We make sure to spam, this isn't GTA 6, under every post Rockstar makes. We have to constantly be making crazier and crazier theories on when we'll see GTA 6. And our newest job is listening in on investor calls for any potential GTA 6 information. And in my opinion, that's the craziest f***ing part. As we apply our learnings to other games in Zynga's portfolio, including Toy Blast. Investor calls are the most boring, mind-numbing shit ever. The only cool part of the meeting is when they open the floor to the investors for questions. But even then, they ask the most lame shit ever, like, are we still getting GTA 6? And Strauss Zelnick is like, uh, yeah. I mean, Rockstar has deprived us so much, we're forced to listen to these meetings like the lowest of the low. That's right, shareholders. But apparently the good news is, GTA 6 is still on track for a 2025 release. Which is probably about the best we could hope for, considering not too long ago, we were pretty much convinced GTA 6 was getting delayed. New theory on the block is the moon looks like this, so we're getting a new trailer soon. Makes sense to me and I 100% believe it. But seriously, you would have to think we're getting something soon, so just hold on, boys. All this waiting and pain will be rewarded. Maybe. Why'd they make Red Dead 1 on PC 50 bucks, man? That's criminal. <laughs>